Hey, and welcome to my first grocery haul. We go grocery shopping once a week, and that is just not working for our family. So while I was laying her down for a nap, I was thinking, why don't we try twice a month grocery hauls? And so I'm going to bring you along. I am 25 minutes away from home at a store called Fresh Time here where I live. And the reason why I came all the way down here was because you can buy in bulk, um, which I like. And um, I just like the shopping experience here much better than anything else with, that is close to our house because like we only have like a Walmart and a Target by us. Um, so we're gonna go into Fresh Time. I'm gonna bring you along. We are doing this on a budget because so normally we give ourselves $160 a week um, in grocery money and that might sound like a lot to some people and it might not sound like a lot to some people so when I grocery shop I really try hard to get grass finished beef all of that because uh, that is important to our family so it does jack up the price a little bit I'm hoping that um, probably by September ish we're able to go in on a cow half a cow a quarter of a cow with a family or a couple families um, but right now we just don't have that in our freezer so uh, like I said it does jack up the price of our grocery haul just a little bit so I have my list here and I scheduled out dinners for Monday through Friday and my my plan is to uh, get doubles of everything and then for the next two weeks we will eat the same thing for dinners on Monday nights Tuesday nights Wednesday nights you get the idea so Monday night um, I usually work at the Y so I'm gonna have either a pizza or something easy for Brad to make at home Tuesday I'm doing a keto casserole taco casserole Wednesdays we're doing a shrimp um, sh like shrimp what's it called? Cajun shrimp stir fry thing. Thursdays is going to be chicken wings and Fridays is going to be pizza night. So all of this is keto-ish type meals, low carb. Um, and then we'll have to figure out what we're doing for the weekends. But I, if there's a couple things I want to show you in here, I will. Uh, otherwise, when I get home, I'm going to lay it all on the counter and show you guys what I got. So let's go. shopping done at fresh time but they did not have chicken wings so I have to run into Target and grab chicken wings and oh and they didn't really have a selection for cheese so I'm gonna grab a block of cheddar and a block of mozzarella and that will be for our pizzas and our taco bake so I think I heard on a vlog somewhere that the pre-shredded cheese like has a lot of like casing on it so it's healthier if you're gonna get cheese to get like block cheese and shred it yourself which I also think it's cheaper probably too so we're gonna do that in the Target and then home and I'm going to lay it all on the counter and show you guys what I see show you the haul I was at um, fresh time and I get paper because I like to recycle in the paper instead of plastic and the lady said do you want plastic for your meat and I said yes and then never got the bag so we just called they're gonna hold it in the freezer for us but we are missing the two pounds of ground beef the um, thing of shrimp a bag of shrimp and then I get us like a 
like a kielbasa sausage that's uncured that's really good in my eggs and such so we're missing that in this haul but Brad's gonna pick it up on his way home from work tomorrow like I said it's a half hour away from where we live so to go tonight it's already eight o'clock at night and he won't get home till nine so I just said don't worry about it grab it on your way home all right, so starting up here, this meat was $3 off because today is April 2nd and it was supposed to be frozen, which it was, or used by the first, so we got $3 off that pack, package, excuse me. At the end, I'm going to show you or tell you the total, so here's the overview of the haul if you want to see. Um, put your guess in now in the comments and then see if you are right at the end. So. We got this pack of chicken wings, and then, um, so that was from Target. This was also from Target, so this is Brad's meal when I'm gone on Mondays. He can make that and have that, because that is not keto, and I am not eating that. What else was from Target? I'll jump over here. Um, he wanted a bag of chips, and then some jalapeno cheddar dip as a treat for tonight. And then we all, I also got the Dove chocolate. Um which I absolutely love, the dark chocolate. Okay, and then the rest of this stuff is from Fresh Time. So this uncured uh, pepperoni is so yummy and so good. It doesn't have any nitrates or anything or any added sugar or anything. Um, it's really good, and this will be used for our pizzas and then just also snacking on. And then we got some cream cheese. I use this in making of our pizza crust, our keto Fathead pizza crust, you just use two tablespoons of that. These were buy one, get one. These are my guilty pleasures that this is my favorite brand and my favorite kind. Synergy, Trilogy, Kombucha, love, love, love. So buy one, get one. Uh, and then some pasture raised eggs. And I could talk about this all day long, um, but there's no antibiotics, pesticides, hormones, GMOs. A lot of the, t and this is a rant quickly, but a lot of the packaging around eggs is very, very, very misleading. Even if they say that it is, uh, you know, organic or cage-free or whatever else they say, unless it's like pasture-raised organic eggs, none of that matters. So cage-free means they could be still in a yucky area that is like you know, so small. I don't know all the logistics. Anyways, you get what you pay for, and I would highly recommend looking into pasture-raised as opposed to cage-free or just plain or old organic eggs. Pasture-raised is the best. So, next, a thing of heavy whipping cream, a thing of sour cream, and now this is the real, so two things of garlic, which is also way better to buy the the garlic like this than it is to buy. I had gotten in the habit of buying um, pre-minced garlic already and the stuff that's added to that is just junk and you don't need it in your body. So I'm going back to peeling my garlic and chopping it by myself. That's that. Okay, now the real reason I went to Fresh Time is because you can do, you can get stuff in bulk like this. Now I don't love having the plastic but this saved me, this and this, all of this, saved me so much money that it was worth to take the half hour trip to get to the store. So I'm going to be making some, um, what's it called? Like seed bread, like uh, no carb bread that I can put my avocado spread on in the morning. So it's going to be like a cracker. So I have... Flax seed, pumpkin seeds, and sesame seeds, or sunflower seeds. And I have sesame seeds, and I will let you know how that goes. But this alone was worth the gas down there. And so was this. Um, this saved me a ton. So I'm going to be making my own taco seasoning. And we had some of the seasonings. But um, this is xylem husk, also for the cracker bread that we're going to make. Thyme smoked paprika and cumin um which they did not have in bulk so i had to buy this one but we use enough cumin all the time to get that but this alone saved me so much money because i didn't have to buy you know huge jars of stuff like this so that's that 
And then we needed some basil, and I can't remember what this is for. I, oh, I think it's for our Cajun uh, sh shrimp stir fry stuff. This is also for our Cajun shrimp, uh, two zucchinis to chop up in there. Um, and then they had huge Haas avocados, um, four for five dollars, which I thought was okay. Uh, but they're huge and I, we go through so many avocados and then I got just one smaller avocado for 99 cents that I can use up tomorrow. Then we have the block cheese. So we have, this was from Target also, mozzarella and shredded cheddar or cheddar, sorry, two blocks. And I will shred those up and also we'll probably just eat these with the pepperoni. Um, yeah. So and then we got some pork rinds. This fresh thyme bag is pretty small for $2.99. You can get a way bigger bag at Walmart um, for like $1.99. Um, but we were there. I got this bag instead. And this is going to go in for snacks and then also in our uh, taco casserole. All right. My splurges. This bag alone was $5.99 or $4.99. I'd have to look. Um, but I love these grain-free chips. Siete chips are so, so, so yummy. And I also got this Siete, what's it called? Case, cashew queso, spicy blanco. It's not focusing. I've wanted to try this combo for a long, long time. I saw it today. I had to get it. I think this was about $5.99 too. So spendy for a snack, but healthy and well worth it. I will let you know how those two things are together. All right, and then moving on to onions, yellow onions and two things of spaghetti squash. So for our, um, for the Cajun shrimp, like stir fry thing-ish, um, I am using this instead of noodles. So this will be in the replacement of noodles. And so I got two of those. And then this Newman's own, Peppers, spices, and the whole shebang, shaka uh, We're going to use this on our pizzas. And then I also have been using this with some pork rinds and a little shredded mozzarella is like a mimicking a, um, it mimics like a mozzarella stick um, and just gets kind of that snacky feeling gone. All right. So, and then... Also comes out of our food budget is Laundry Liquid Detergent. This, I love this brand and I normally can only find it on Amazon, um, but I saw it at Fresh Time today and I got the Sport Lavender and Eucalyptus Extracts. It's clean ingredients and I love, love, love this soap. Then we needed new, more dishwasher detergent packs. So that is why I got this. I have not tried the seventh generation kind before, so I am excited to see how it works. That is our haul. That is my first haul I've ever done and uploaded, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully Brad gets to the store and gets our bag of lost meat and everything is okay. They say he just needs to bring the receipt, but I don't know. I'm a little skeptical. I should have asked for the lady's name and I didn't. She said she's going to put a note on it and leave it in the cooler. But if we're out the meat, then we're out the meat. Oh, I need to tell you. Final running totals of all of it. I spent $116.89 at Fresh Time. And I spent... What did I spend? $32.35 at Target. I did also forget to mention that I was in the checkout line at Target and I thought I was getting two, because Brad and I will down those chicken wings. I thought I was getting two packs of those chicken wings and one was drumsticks. So I had the guy put the other one back. So we will have to go back and get that other set of drumsticks or sorry, chicken wings. Um, so I didn't get that. That's not on there. And then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do for, um, weekends and that sort of thing. So I want, I'm excited to see what happens this month as we just go grocery shopping like twice and maybe have to do one or two fill in things, uh, and see if we save any money, even if it's 20 bucks and we save 20 bucks, we save 20 bucks. So
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Enjoy your week and I will chat with you guys soon.